The cup run is over, now we focus on the league. Welcome back guys to the FIFA 22 Hearts career mode. Last time out, we got pumped against Aberdeen. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's dead and buried, just like our chances they win in the Scottish Cup. That game's over with. So for me, this will be the last time we talk about it. Let's talk about a competition though that we can still, still uh, salvage. And that competition is the Scottish Premiership. Yes, it doesn't look good. Yes, we're in 10th place. Yes, we're 11 points off of where we need to be with only seven games remaining before the split but the law of averages tells me that Mullerwell, Hibbs and St Johnson who are all on 36 points all three of those teams cannot continue to go on a good run of form it's just not going to happen at least one of those teams are bound to have a bad a bad run it's, it's just going to happen no it's not those three teams can't keep on winning right it just it wouldn't make sense and it's, it's not going to make sense but what needs to make sense is we need to start improving, guys. I think we have improved. Our last four league games, we've picked up seven points out of 12. Two wins coming against Mullerwell and Dundee. A draw against Celtic that, in reality, should have been a win. We, we conceded it late on. And a defeat against Rangers, which should have been a draw. Because we conceded the, the, the losing goal late on. So instead of having seven points, we should have at least ten points. And that is with two games against the old form. So our form's good. But to win, we're going to need to start doing what we haven't done yet, and that is win multiple games in a row. And we're going to have to start that in today's episode where we take on St Johnston and St Mirren. Nothing but six points will do here. So let's go and get them. Here's how we line up then against St Johnston, Gordon, Kingsley, Haring, Halkett, Suter, Smith, Devlin, Benny, Mackay, Stephen, Boyce, Mackay. Uh, St Johnston, some solid players in there, the defence obviously. It's going to be hard to break down. They've got McCarr, Ambrose and Gordon. It's a pretty good uh, combination of three centre-backs. But, of course, Parrish is starting over Sander Clark. And that gives us a big advantage, in my opinion. Because Sander Clark, obviously, one of the best goalkeepers. If not the best in Scotland. So, happy that he's not playing. Uh, up front, they've obviously got Wotherspoon on either side. And Middleton on either side of the wings. Dangerous players. But we've got dangerous players. We're dangerous! Let's go and show St. Johnson, though, how dangerous we can be. Oh, Mackay Steven getting away from his man. What a lovely burst of speed that was. Mackay Steven who cut it inside. Boyce is making a run, but Mackay Steven's still going on his amazing run. He doesn't want boys. He doesn't need boys. He should have passed it to boys. Shocking. Fuck's sake. Ran the whole length of the pitch just to lose it like that. Boyce. Oh, there's a collision in the midfield there. Could be a head knock. Both players could be deed. I don't think so, because the rest played on. Probably would have stopped it if there was a casualty or two. We've won the ball back, Haring, great tackle, we've found Boyce now, Boyce, looking for Mackay Steven again this time, he finds him, it's Mackay Steven, and Mackay Steven is undone by F.A. Ambrose once again, former Celtic Hibs player, coming back to cause his problems. Boyce, finds Devlin, Devlin looking for Mackay, I think he's going to keep it in, he is just about, but it was a terrible cross. He'd have probably been better off letting it go to play for a goal kick. That's how shit it was. Oh, well, it's been we passed it right back to him. But unfortunate there, we get the block. But that's a good challenge for Suter. Um, defensively, so far in this game, we've been sound, but we haven't really created much. But maybe Suter can this time. Maybe it's going to be a defender that creates the opportunity for us. No, because he runs into trouble and he loses the ball. Typical. Going forward, absolute garbage so far. Ball played out to Glenn Middleton. What can the ex Hibernian and Rangers man do? He's caught inside. He's. Oh, it's. Thank God he's played it right to Devlin. Good for us. And now we can counter again. Benny finds Boyce. Boyce now looking for a maroon shot. He, he finds one. He actually gets that to Benny somehow. Not sure how he made that pass there, but he's done it. Now Benny looking for Boyce. He can lay off Devlin or he can cut back inside himself and Boyce! Almost puts the ball in the back of the net. What a strike that was. Unfortunately, just narrowly wide of the target. We'll see it again. On the, and almost took a nick there off the St. Johnston player's boot. Seen the replay again. It's, it wasn't as close as I originally thought. But still a decent attempt and our best chance of the game so far. And just like that, St. Johnston take the lead. Pish goal to concede from us. We've been by far... I wouldn't say we've been by far the better team, but we've limited them to absolutely nothing. But Fertanen's goal there, 
has put us in deep trouble. And uh, in a game that we must win, we find ourselves trailing. He's got five goals in 15 matches. You know, good for him, great for him, but Definitely. it's just, it won't do. We need we need a goal, and preferably one before half time. Mackay, awful. Who's that to? I mean, seriously, to. Is, is this pass it to a blue shirt fucking day? Awful. Right, we'll want it back. Mackay Steven. The boys. He lays it off to Suter. Suter through to boys. Strikes it. Blocked. It's another chance gone. Half time then at the interval. St Johnston with a lead that they honestly do not deserve, but they have it. And we're going to have to do something to uh, make sure we can change this in the second half. And I think we're going to go to the 4-2-4. The it has to be done. I'm not going to wait around and you know lose this game. We're going to go for it right now. We're going to bring on Nanjale. And that's going to be how we line up in the second half, guys. Let's do this. Nanjale to Mackay Steven. Mackay Steven. Out to Nanjale. A bit wider than we would have liked it. But it's Benny. It's a fantage. Don't know what Benny's done there. The ball is what stuck behind him. Didn't see much advantage from what happened there, but here, whatever. Devlin. Devlin. He lays it off to Kingsley. Kingsley. It's a terrible cross in, man. Surely we can just put that across the face of the goal there and someone can tap it in. And instead, the cross is whipped well out of the box. Fucking Kingsley deserves to be whipped. For that delivery, man. Shocking. Oh, we've just... We make, we make a challenge, but we end up playing them through by making the challenge. I mean, what is the point of our life, sir? Seriously. Good defending for... Why is the fucking game lagging off lead? I've had enough, man. It's a corner kick. St. Johnston. Trying to run the clock there, it would seem. Davidson's came on for Ballantyne. Uh, beginning to get to the stage now where I think we're going to need luck to win this match. Boyce plays it through to Mackay. Mackay. Surely Mackay's going to pull one. Oh my god. No, he doesn't pull one back. He pulls it fucking wide and it's shite for Mackay. Has to score that, man. Absolutely must score that. It's not even close, in fairness. That's not even close. Smith into Boyce. Boyce to Nangeli. Back to Boyce. Boys into Devlin. Nanjali, surely! And he puts it wide as well, man. Seriously. Why are we all fucking shite, man? Can somebody not just put the ball in the back of the net? Are we really asking for too much? I mean, creating good opportunities and we just cannot hit the back of the net, man. Unreal. Oh, Devlin. Come on, Devlin. Somebody make a run. Well, Devlin's getting away from his men here. Devlin, the boys! Yes, come on! Boys scores, we've got 18 minutes to go. Is there a way back here? Can we do this? Liam Boyce has given us a chance, and at this stage, that's pretty much all we could hope for, a chance. We've got that chance, and now it's only us that can stay. It's only St. Johnston, really, that can stand between ourselves and 18, 18 point, what the fuck? 18 minutes, stand, it's 18 minutes in St. Johnston stand between ourselves and three points, finally. I got the sentence I was looking for correct. But what a strike for boys there. Keeper, no chance. And uh, yeah, it took us a while to get the goal, but we finally got it. We definitely deserve it. But can we get another? That's the million dollar question. Or at least it's a three point question. Roberts. Roberts through to Nanjali. Nanjali strikes it right into the hands. He parish. He fumbles it, at the, but he ends up gallering it anyway. It was a tough angle, but we went for it, and we were unsuccessful. We have to get that. We have to... Oh, no, we don't have to get it, because he gave it right to us. He's gave it away. It's Devlin. Boys. It's Benny. Benny strikes it, and it's Parrish with another save. Good save for the keeper, but he hands it. He throws it right to Smith. Nanjali. He turns. Oh, and he... Fucking runs right into trouble. It's a great challenge for Kingsley. Kingsley still... Kingsley wins the ball, but the referee gives a penalty. The referee's a cheating scumbag. The referee is going to screw us here in the last minute of the game. 
I mean, we've won the ball there. We don't even touch them. What do you mean the refs got that right, commentator? Shut the fuck up. We don't know what you're talking about. Refs got it right. It's going to be Gordon versus Craig here. And it's 2 1. And not to the team it should be. Absolutely sickening. After the chances we've had in this game. And that happens. Come on, Nanjali, come on. Is that. Who's. Where's our penalty? Where the fuck's our penalty? I knew it. Non fucking existent. Win that. Boys. Boys. Boys! Oh, go! 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 Liam, boys! Get it right off you! Get it right off you! 2-2! Two, two. Back in this, we're not even going to have enough time to grab a winner. But I hate cheats, so get it right up, you St. Johnson and the referee, right? You're not getting three points for us. You're not getting three points for us. What a goal for Liam, boys, man. Right at the end there. Uh, wow. <laughs> Phenomenal. And uh, I, I, I like, was not expecting that, man. What, what an equaliser. And here, it's not the three points we needed, but when you look at it, it could be a fatal point because it stops St. Johnston taking three points off us. And that was a six-pointer. St. Johnston, one of the teams we are trying to catch. So with that late equaliser, I know we're not getting the three points we wanted, but we're preventing St. Johnston from increasing the gap. And that could be absolutely fatal. I mean, it probably does mean that we need to win the remaining six games to have any sort of chance of catching them. But I'd say now we have a really small chance, an extremely small chance, whereas without that equaliser, we pretty much had no chance. So there you go. Uh, a game we deserved to win. St. Johnson had three shots, scored two of them. We had nine shots, could only score two. It wasn't a penalty. It really wasn't. But here, we managed to snatch that draw and literally... The dying seconds of the game. Uh, Hibernian have drawn. Mullerville have drawn. It kind of sucks because had we have won that, we could have catched. We'd, we'd have took, we would have took three points off St. Johnston. And we would have took two points off a Mullerville and Hibs. So that would have been pretty much the perfect outcome for us. But as things stand, absolutely nothing has changed. We've gained a point. Mullerville, Hibernian and St. Johnston, the three teams we're trying to catch, have all gained a point. And it remains the same. The only thing that's changed is unless instead of having 21 points to play for, we now only have 18. So really, there's no more room for failure. We probably need to win our last six games to have any hope. Uh, our next match is against who are we taking on next? Our next match is against St Mirren, um, who are who are Mullerwell Dundee, who are Mullerwell Hibson St Johnston on St Johnston are away to Ross County. Um, Mullerwell are playing Rangers, I think, but that's next week. So, I mean, Hibs are playing Celtic. I mean, they, they, they could be dropping points in those games. St. Johnson are playing Rangers soon. So, uh, yeah, there is some big games coming up for those teams, but it won't matter unless we start winning. And by winning, I mean probably win six games in a row. It will not matter. All right, here's the table for the match against St. Mirren. We're bringing in Moore into the centre-back position, pushing Haring. Fuller up the field into the midfield. He'll be replacing Benny. Boyce is remaining up front after, you know, earning that late, 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 late equaliser. And we're going to be Mackay, Mackay, Stephen on either side of the wing. Ginelli is back from suspension, but uh, he won't be featuring in this game as for St. Johnson. I mean, that do have some dangerous players. Brophy, McGrath, all capable of goals, and we need to stop them. And Peter Haring for distance! Hits it over the bar. Ball headed into Mackay. Mackay. It's Barry Mackay. It's another shot. It's another shot that sails over the bar. But again, ball again in another promising position. It's Haring. Oh, he's played it out to Stephen Kingsley. Mackay, Stephen lays it off to Haring. Out to Kingsley. Kingsley cuts back, looks for a cross. It's Boyce. And he's headed it out the box. Wrong way, Boise. Boyce. Still Boyce. Shoots again from distance, and this time it's on target. Keeper has to save it behind for a corner. Mackay Stephen with the delivery. Looking for Liam Boyce again. Boyce heads, but doesn't. Jumps even, but doesn't get the head on it. Mackay flicks it over. Barry Mackay can't connect with his shot. And St Mirren will finally clear the danger. 
boys. Oh, he's trying to play Mackay. Mackay actually might keep this in, he will. Mackay keeps it in, fantastic bit of play there. Mackay strikes it and it's blocked again. And St Mirren living dangerously here, but they're still in it, 0-0. Boys drops deep, picks it up. Looks for anybody, really. There's Kingsley making a run, but there's also Mackay. He's played out Mackay. Mackay then, can he get the ball in? He does, boys. is there, and boys finds it. He gets the spot at the near post. Was not expecting him to go near post. I thought he maybe would have went for the far post, hitting the shot across goal. But no, he beats the keeper at the near post. And it's a great strike. It's a great move for the Hearts. And we go 1-0 up here. And it's a great start away from home in Paisley. See again the replay. Ball it to Mackay. Cuts it back. Finds Boyce. And Boyce just drills it there. Lovely first time connection. And puts the ball past Alwick. He cannot make the save. We've been all over St Mirren. We deserve this lead for sure. And we have it. Let's hold on to it now. And that's it. Oh, no, it's not it. St Mirren. Their first real opportunity of the match. And they've scundered it. Oh, he totally misconnects that. Maybe maybe Gordon had it covered. We don't know. But it's not going to end either way. St Mirren looking dangerous. It's a great save from Ball. And that's the rebound. Where's the rebound going? Gordon keeps it the initial shot and the rebound is... I don't know, it's probably heading to Glasgow somewhere, man. It's in Glasgow City Centre. It's absolutely shocking, but there's Liam Boyce so far. Three attempts, one goal. Talking to Mackay, who set up the assist today. So, yeah, I mean, those two have been good. We're one nil up at the break. We're more than deservedly ahead, but St Mirren, what a chance they had to equalise here, and they didn't they take it. Devlin... Can Boyce make the run? Can Boyce make the run? He's made it, but haven't been able to find the ball out to Mackay. Now Mackay's got Smith on the outside, but he might go himself. It's Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay! Oh, and it's saved again by the keeper. We will get a corner kick out of this. What opportunity for us to double our lead? It's going to be Mackay. Stephen with the delivery. It's poor, and it bounces off the, the six yard box line before going into the hands of Alwick. Pulls back to Smith. Smith to Haring. Boyce in a bit of space here. Boyce in a bit of space. He took a shot. It's been blocked. And he's lost the ball this time. And St Mirren are done. They're still only 1-0 in this. But they're hanging on. Can Smith win the header? He can. Boyce then picks it up. Lays it off to Haring. Haring strikes it. And there's another save off Alwick, man. Oh, he's had a great game. Been phenomenal so far. Haring cannot believe that that did not go in. Look, destined for the top corner. Mackay Stephen went all delivery. This one again isn't the greatest. It's going to be Moore to come and collect it. He takes a terrible touch, but can he redeem it? Moore. Mackay. Flicks it up, boys. Back to Mackay, who throws it right into the hands of Alwick again. Keep us making save after save after save here. Oh, no, and he's through. Oh, he's through, he's done his in there. And it's a goal. And again, we've dominated St Mirren. St Mirren are in with another chance. And they've got the equaliser. Can't believe it. I believe it's Brophy with the goal. Ah, oh, the defending's poor there. He's just cut right in past Moore. And he smashed it past Gordon. And uh, we've got... <laughs> Got a lot of work to do, man. It's been hard to beat Alwick. And now we've only got 20-odd minutes to do it to keep our top six hopes alive. I'm going to bring on Ginelli. We're maybe going to push some players forward. And we're going to see what we can muster up here in the remaining 22 minutes. There we go. Counter. Ball it to Ginelli. Ginelli. He's trying to find Boyce. He does find him. It's Liam Boyce. Boyce! Off the post. No way, man. How the fuck have we no scored? Liam Boyce after the post. Should be 2-1. But it's still 1-1, one, one, as things stand. Ball to Mackay, Mackay. To Boyce, to Ginelli. We're beginning to up the ante here. Ginelli strikes, it's blocked. Mackay, Stephen, can he head that? No, he can't. And the keeper takes it. But it's a poor throw by the keeper. Haring will pick it up. Plays it back to Ginelli. Ginelli, space opening up for Ginelli. Strikes it, blocked. It's going to be a corner with 14 minutes to go. Oh, do we bring on Roberts? Uh, yeah, we'll bring on Roberts. I don't know if I should be taking off boys, but we're doing it. It's going to be Mackay Stephen then. Can he get a better delivery into the box this time? He does, but 
Nobody gets it for our hearts and it's clear away. Smith heads it back in. Ginelli will get to it first. Ginelli, oh, it's lovely for Josh Ginelli and he fires it again at the goalkeeper. And it's another save. I cannot believe this, man. What do we need to do to find this second goal? Mackay Stephen, ball in. Hulk, it's there. Tries to head it. It's away, Ginelli. Down to Mackay. Mackay strikes it's blocked again. Kingsley to Smith. And it's well over hit there for Smith. And GMS ain't getting on that. And it's a goal kick for St Mirren. We've won it back. It's Ginelli. Good interception. Ginelli out to Roberts. It's well over hit though. Roberts will get to it, but... In what sort of position, Robert? Oh, brilliant for Jordan Roberts. It's still Roberts. And Roberts scores. The substitute has won the game. Surely in the last three minutes. It's a great goal. We thought the pass was over hit, to be fair. The pass was over hit. But Roberts didn't go up. He chased it down. He got the ball. He beat his man here. He ran into the box. There's a few options, but we've seen the best option. And that was smashing the ball into the back of the net. Goalkeeper Alwick has had a phenomenal game. But not even he can stop that. Right in it goes. And Jordan Roberts, who has since rejoined the club since his loan expired with Mullerwell in January. I think it's been actually really good for us. And I believe it's his second, well, second two goals in 12 matches. Doesn't look too good. But here, that could be a massive goal. Thoughts to St Mirren 1. Halkett wins it. Halkett wins it. Halkett clears it up. Surely that's going to do it, and it does, we've flicked it onto the Roberts, but it won't matter, we don't need it, we don't need the third goal, because the referees blew the whistle, and we've won this game by two goals to one, well deserved, in the end, I'm going to be honest, I'm beginning to think it wasn't, we weren't going to get it, but finally, we did get that second goal, we got the win, surprisingly enough, St Mirren had an expected goal, um, statistic higher than us, 3.2 to 2.7, even though we had 16 shots to their six, so I think that a bit strange, but regardless, we won. That's what matters. Uh, that could be an absolutely crucial three points. St Johnston drew, they dropped points. Aberdeen beat Dundee United. That game doesn't really affect us. And uh, now we need to see how the other teams do. But uh, Hibernian have still to play, I believe. Mullerwell have still to play. They've played now. It looks like Mullerwell have lost. Um, Mullerwell have lost. Hibernian have lost. And St Johnston drew. So out of the three teams that we're trying to chase down for that top six, none of them won. Two of them got beat and one of them drew. So that is an absolute... Oh, that is a tremendous victory for us. And could you imagine, guys, if we'd have beat St. Johnston in the last game? They'd have been on 37 points as well. We'd have been moving up to, what, 31? We'd have been six points behind three teams. And how close would it have been then for us to try and climb into the top six? Don't get me wrong, we can still do it. There's 15 points to play for. We're only 8 behind Hibs. We're only 8 behind Motherwell. We're 9 behind St Johnston. We're still to play Hibs. We play Hibs on the final game before the split. So we need to try and get that gap down. It's at 8 points at the moment. If we can somehow get that gap down to 2 points, they've got the better goal difference, we would need to get it down to 2 points. But if we can get the gap down to 2 points over the next 4 games, then it could be an Edinburgh... Derby, you know, winner takes all in terms of the top six. Up next, we have Aberdeen. They beat us in the cup. We need to get our revenge against them. We really do. As for the other teams that we're trying to catch, Hibernian are away at Dundee. St. Johnston are taking on Rangers. Hopefully, Rangers can do as a result there. Mullerwell are taking on Ross County. So, Mullerwell, I do expect them to win that. Like I said, we're taking on Aberdeen. We need to get revenge after the cup. We've yet to win back-to-back -back games in the league this season. That's going to have to change. Next episode, that is 100% going to have to change if we have any chance of getting top six. We will need to beat Aberdeen. We probably need to win our last five games. It really is that simple. But we need to beat Aberdeen to put pressure on the teams above us. We still have Aberdeen, Dundee United, Livingston, Ross County and Hibs before the split. I feel like if we win all five games, we'll do it. But... It's going to be hard, guys. It's going to be hard. We've barely won five games all season. So for us to somehow come back... How many games have we won? We'll recheck the standings here. Uh, we've won eight games. for So we're going to need to win five. It's, that's going to be really tough. But can we do it, guys? I think we can. There's only, only one way to find out. That's tune in. Check out the feds. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do it. Like this video. Subscribe. Comment. Do all that good stuff. Say a prayer. And hopefully... We can win our last five remaining games and somehow 
make it into the top six. If we could make it into the top six, that would probably be my proudest moment in FIFA. Because at one stage, we were down and out. I did have a Schalke career mode where I was kind of down and out, and I ended up finishing eighth, but we missed it in European football. But I think this would surpass that if we can make this comeback. Tune in next episode, guys, to find out. We're taking on Aberdeen and Dundee United. It's two really tough games against two top four sides, and we're going to need maximum points if we've got any chance of achieving our objective. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for Jordan Roberts for grabbing the winner. Fox St. Johnson for screwing us over in the first game, cheating to get a point. And until next time, peace.